I've struggled with thoughts of suicidality and wanting to be dead pretty much my entire life. The day of my attempt, it was pretty much like any other day. Uh, you know, woke up, it was a lot of sadness, um, a lot of crying. You know, I felt kind of hopeless, didn't really want to be bothered, didn't have a good appetite. Um, my phone was ringing crazy because I probably hadn't talked to anybody in probably about 24 to 48 hours. You know, by the time I was like 38 years old, this, the suicidal thoughts were incredibly strong and active. And there were plans, everything was kind of set in motion. And I never thought, since this was all I ever knew, I never thought that there would be a point where my thinking would change, where my daily thinking and the daily processes of how I think about life and situations that it would change and that I would not obsess over wanting to be dead every single day. And to find the suicide support group was something that has changed my life, I think, for the positive more than anything else I've ever experienced. I really felt that I was going to end up back in the same place. And me coming here, it, it definitely changed my life. It's, it's, you know, shaking, it's shaking some things up. It's made me realize I'm not the only one out here going through this. And I feel like that's what a lot of people's problems are. They feel like they're the only person who can understand themselves. I have been in therapy, I think, for probably about 20 years off and on. And this is really the first support group, the suicide support group is the first one that I have st stayed with. Therapy coupled with, I think, um, a loyal commitment, going to group and participating, being honest and interacting with people in group and connecting is what has changed my thinking processes. So my automatic thoughts don't always jump to suicide. And they now change to if I'm highly, you know, feeling anxiety provoked or I'm feeling angry or helpless, I start thinking about, okay, well, what have we discussed in group? What have we discussed? What have I discussed in therapy? And what type of things, what activities or other outlets can I take care of or address so that I can manage my emotions and come back to a place where I feel more grounded and a higher sense of self-esteem. You have to push yourself to want to do better. And I think that everybody who I've encountered in this group has definitely not been static with their lives because of the group. I feel like they've been pretty dynamic. Um, you know, I, I definitely haven't sat on my butt just to come to group and, you know, hear about other people's stories. You know, it's made me want to progress in my life and do something better. With group, I have learned with to, to create a safety plan and to talk to people about what's going on in my life and to feel like I'm not the only person that feels this way and that it can change where I never felt that way before. I never had any reason to feel that way before. The people in the group definitely helped me, you know, feel like I wasn't alone. For me to talk about what had happened with me and for other people to talk about what happened with them and then to get feedback that wasn't just, oh, well, things will get better. You're tired, you're tired of hearing the cliche statements. You want somebody to talk to you and genuinely know that they care about, you know, what you're doing. You know, I've, I've made friends inside of this group. They are really my family now. We exchange phone numbers, we text, email, and talk on a weekly basis. And that has definitely been something to help me. The clinicians, you know, the program directors, everybody has been so humble. Nobody here appears like they're doing their job for a paycheck. And I think, you know, anybody who works in this field should be doing their job because it's something that you know, it heals them by heart. And I feel like everybody here is doing this because of heart. 
and that and that definitely makes a difference. I feel like there's a new person inside of me that has transitioned from a very, very deep core of suffering and hopelessness and where there was a person that felt like, okay, your job's done on this earth, you're no longer needed, and now I feel like there's a lot more left to do in my life and that I do make a difference here and that there's more for me to continue and to enjoy.